Okay, so we are inside 2028 Tennessee, and I tried to turn on the light here, but it didn't really work, so that's why we're in the dark a little bit. You can see we've got a settling crack going across the ceiling here, then there's another settling crack sort of area that's formed above this fan, um, and you can see the crack just kind of weaving here throughout the property. So hardwood floors in this living room space, and it is a pretty good living room space given the age of the home. The windows are wood cased single pane windows, um, at least here in the front. And they are the old pulley system windows. You can see this one's still got the cord attached to it. Okay, so right when you come in the door, you have a small little coat closet. And then we're going to move straight forward to go into the kitchen and other spaces of the property. So hopefully we can get some lights working. Ah, there we are. Okay. So this is interesting. You've got this little alcove here, which, you know, they've got shelves and open face stuff on. But I feel like you could use this for a pantry um, and maybe put a little door over the top of it so you're not looking directly into the pantry. But that's a good amount of storage space right there. The kitchen is kind of interesting. Um, it looks like they've got this sort of like plasticky kind of tile on the wall that they've been painted white on this back wall here. Um, there's definitely a pretty decent incline as I'm walking on the floor here and that is gonna be from the settling. You can see a little bit of a bulge there on the ceiling as well. Little crack there. So here is the living or the kitchen, and we've got Formica countertops here in the kitchen. You've got all white appliances, and this window does have a cracked pane of glass right here. And it goes out into, looks out into the back patio area for reference. Since we're right here, we'll go ahead and just do the basement. So again, we'll see. Okay, there we go. So unfinished basement. These steps feel a little treacherous. So I'm walking down them. Okay. So here we are in the basement of the property. So it's old cinder block foundation build. And you can see you've got a pretty good crack running down this section of the cinder block. Um, on the outside, when I had pointed at that section in the foundation that had the bigger crack, that crack is actually um, connected to the crawl space area. So you're not on a full basement here. It is a partial basement, partial crawl space. So that is the crawl space section of the property, but you can't really see anything in there right now. Um, you can see that the cement floors definitely had some bigger cracks in it as well, that they filled with some sort of cement. Um, but there's a little bit of waviness and things going on. This plumbing tree has definitely had some rust and some water running down it. But it looks like they have replaced some of the plumbing. And you can see you've got this um, newer plumbing here connected to the old cast iron. Okay. So again, um, you can see a bigger crack here in the foundation that they filled at some point. And this is just, okay, just a little toilet in the basement here. Um, I would say this is for emergencies only. Okay, water heater looks pretty good overall. And you've also got the furnace down here. So that's looking pretty good. And you see they're up on these cement little block so that way if you do get some kind of water seepage or something um you don't have to worry about that too much it does not smell incredibly damp down here but it does have a little bit of a musty smell and i would imagine that periodically it does get some seepage going on um, especially in like this corner over here where it's darker and you can see that there's you know just kind of some mud build up and things like this so i would imagine this basement does get a little bit of seepage but it doesn't seem like it gets super flooded necessarily a little bit of evidence of water there at the bottom of the stairs okay back upstairs 
This will lead us to the garage, I believe. Okay, so I gotta turn the knob to the left and do this at the same time. Okay, maybe. You know what? I'll come back to that when I don't have a phone in my hand. Okay. All right, so back inside the property. Um, and before we go too much back into the house, we're gonna go down this little hallway, which is gonna lead us to bedrooms and bathrooms. So to my right, this is bedroom number one. And that window faces the front yard. This window faces south. So the front yard of this house for reference faces west. Open up this little closet here. So pretty standard little closet for older home construction. Looks like they've got a little cover over here on the back Looks for access to the bathtub plumbing. Okay. So here is the bathroom and it is very tight. This is a small little sink. The toilet, I mean the distance between the toilet and the wall here is like maybe a I don't know, maybe a foot and a half, maybe. And then you can see that the bathtub is even kind of jetted out around the side here. So I would say if you are a tall person, um, this would be a, kind of a hard bathroom for you to function in. Okay. So then coming back out of the, this, this bathroom and we're gonna go into the back bedroom. Again, we've got hardwood floors in this area, although they are different hardwood floors than what you see in the living room. Closet here, looks like it's missing a door. And just some more evidence of little cracks and things throughout the property. Okay. So this bedroom's got a pretty small footprint to it. I feel like you could get a full size bed in here and maybe a nightstand and that would be kind of it. Okay. So another little closet right here, if I can get it open. Okay, I'm gonna put this down so I can open this door. Okay, there we go. So a little pantry. It's clear that this door doesn't get opened exceptionally often because it sticks pretty well. Okay, so this is the back section of the property. Um, and this section to me feels built on. When we were outside, it's got a different foundation to it. It's on the crawl space. Um, so you can see it seems like they just added a master suite apparently. So drop ceiling in this part of the property, um, which does have a little bit of damage in some places. Um, you can see a little bit more of the damage here, okay? But these back windows, again, are, you know, just the single pane and pulley system. So same windows back here. And here is a view of the corner of this room, from the corner of the room, okay? And then you have another little bath to the left here, and this bathroom has quite a bit more space in it than the last. It's still a Formica countertop, but you've at least got this wider sink. There's a lot more distance between the toilet and the bathtub. Um, and then you've got a bathtub shower insert here. Okay, and then just a little bit of storage behind the door. Okay. So now I'm gonna go try to get this other door open. So I'm gonna have to put the phone down again because the doors are sticking quite a bit in the house. So give me just a second here. Okay, so the door came right open, but it just uses two hands to do. So opened right up to the garage. It is a single car garage, um, but it doesn't, it looks like it would be hard to utilize it that way, to be honest, because they've got these steps and these steps come out a pretty good distance. I mean, you still might be able to use it as a single car garage, but it'd be tight 
because now instead of having clear to the door, you've only got to here, which is not very big. It is a vaulted ceiling here in the garage. And you can see there's open access to the attic there. And this goes out directly into the backyard. And there was that foot area on the door around it where I was kind of pushing on. I said that it was kind of falling out. Well, you can see where like the cement even is falling out in chunks underneath this door here. So that could use a little TLC for sure. Um, I also see sections in the bottom of the wall, little hole sections. It looked like they were potentially eaten at by maybe a critter of some sort. I mean, it seems really interesting that these were all kind of dug out, but okay. Another little bit of a settling crack here, which corresponds with the bigger settling crack we saw in the wall in the basement. So overall, I'd say it's a cute little house. Um, having that master with the bathroom on the back, I think is really helpful for just like a livable space. Um, the biggest issues I would say about this house are that first bathroom. It's very tiny and not very functional if you are a tall person. Um, beyond that, it's just an older house and so it's got some older house stuff. You know, good amount of settling, some cracking here and there, and then like doors that stick pretty hard because it's summer and everything kind of expands when it gets warmer. But, you know, you do have a first living room and then the master suite, and this is a pretty good size too. So overall, I'd say it's a cute house, and I think it'll sell relatively quickly. Let us know what you think.